Honestly, I'm just thankful that this week is over because I was this close to clocking out early today. Y'all better not make me get up off this couch. All right, let's do this. Hello, everybody. My name is Brianna, and welcome back to Carefree Bree. So glad you could join me. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out my blog at carefreebreeblog.com every Sunday for new content. Last but certainly not least, be sure to go to my Patreon and PayPal accounts and slide me a little something something, you know, to help me keep the lights on and everything. Every little bit counts. P.S. When you share any of my info, be sure to use the hashtag carefree brief. All right, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently this week. As you know, today is Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying some things I'm thankful for. So let's go ahead and get into it. But first, but worth it. Um, this is passion tea. So it tastes really passionate. Okay, I'll get started and tell y'all some stuff I'm thankful for, but full disclosure, these might be a little bit backhanded, odd, whatever. We'll see how this goes. When it comes to things that have happened this week alone, I'm thankful that Melania Trump was booed at one of her little appearances that she did for her brand thing called Be Best. I'm thankful for that because sometimes you gotta let a girl know that just because she wanna fly under the radar and get some heat off of her back or whatever doesn't mean that we don't still remember what the hell going on, okay? What else happened this week? I am thankful in advance because I'm speaking on it. I am thankful for the Omarion level of patience I have coupled with the Omarion level of petty that I have. And I'm also thankful that Omarion decided to be patient petty. I just feel like God really used him in that moment, feel me? The Bible says what? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I shall be the head and not the tail. Or in Omarion's case, you were the head the entire time. The tail has been the tail the entire time. So it really just looks like a jackass trying to be a jackass. I love that we got to see this in real time. I'm so thankful that we got to see this amount of audacity coupled with this amount of pettiness and peace and patience. The triple P's, pettiness, peace, and patience. Omarion was smiling for days and no one knew why. Well, now we do. Sometimes you have to be reminded that you're just not that girl, Lil Fizz, okay? Bow Wow got in where he fit in and took your spot. Even Jay Boog has been named manager for a couple of these shows. But you, sir, get nothing. You should be thankful that Omarion is petty instead of violent. I'm thankful I got to see this because I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I hate being involved with mess, but I love seeing it from afar. It's like a car crash. You can't look away. You sure as hell don't want to be in the crash. And you're mad as hell that the traffic is backed up a mile and a half back. But when you get to see the accident, Accident, you understand why train wreck I'm thankful for my work from home job and that I don't have to go outside if I really don't want to I could order all my groceries from my couch if I wanted to pay my bills from my couch if I wanted to and now I get to work from my couch if I want to which I normally don't want to do I want to go outside but mother nature wants to play with me which is fine I'll just stay my ass in bed I'm thankful that the weekend is back I'm thankful that he came out swinging I'm thankful that he let you bitches know his words not mine and I ain't gonna lie I'll rock with it. <laughs> I don't know who he call them bitches. I don't know who bitches is. It sure as hell ain't me, but I'm singing that song. It's good. It's a really good beat. It's a good hook. I am so glad to see him back. Now, if Party could just hurry up and come on, I can have something else to be thankful for, too. And Miss Rihanna, I haven't forgotten about you as well, but, you know. I'm thankful for my plants because it still proves that I got it when it comes to this whole keeping a creature alive thing. Because as for Audrey, the stuff she be getting into, I be worried this girl gonna shock herself in the wall socket or something. So knowing I can still help something grow makes me happy. Speaking of Audrey, immensely thankful for her. Y'all just don't know what we've been through. Call me a cat lady, I don't give a damn, you're not gonna say it to my face. And if you do, you're not gonna fight me. I'm thankful for Toni Braxton because again and again, she proves that she, one of the girls that many of you try to be, her AMA's performance was Flawless because obviously some others could have used some work. I'm not gonna name no names, Selena, but I mean her voice, her presence, her everything is just on point like it was 20 years ago. I'm thankful for all of my auntie faves actually. My Jills, my Laurens, my Whitney's, my mama Erica. I'm thankful that the universe finally decided to do a thing and is slowly but surely bringing Megan Thee Stallion and Trey Songs together 
and my diabolical plan is coming together at last. Good luck to you, sis. I'm thankful that the city of Chicago finally fixed the road at the corner of 56 and Lake Park. Cause like it's enough that they try and ticket me for everything, but you're also gonna ruin my fucking tires as well. Like something's gotta give. For once I can drive home without feeling like I'm in a car that has hydraulics. I'm thankful for food, like on a real level, not having food insecurity, but I'm also thankful for food on the level of I cannot wait to smash this mac and cheese. And then speaking of family, I'll close out by saying I'm thankful for them. Not everybody has a good family support system, and while my family has its ups and downs like everybody else, we are a family that sticks together and loves each other, and I can't be grateful enough for that. It's why I am the way I am, why I do the things I do, for better or worse. It's family, and they're the ones who are gonna be there for me, you know, no matter what. And then last, last, but definitely not least, I'm thankful for you guys, you know, for supporting me and my brand and like all my stuff and sitting through my foolishness while I rant about random things. There's so much to be thankful for, I could go on, but I know y'all don't want me to. I have some food to get to, because, you know, hopefully it's Thursday by the time I'm posting this. We'll get back to our regular stuff next week, but just wanted to say what I'm thankful for, and that you guys are one of those things. Can't thank you enough. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I am wishing you infinite freedom and perfect peace. This has been Carefree Bree. Happy Thanksgiving, and see you guys next week.